Does anxiety, excess tension, or performance anxiety get in the way when you're playing a tennis match and you don't know how to react to it? In this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can overcome that anxiety when it hits you in the middle of a match. You're watching Sessions with Doc. So Linda, who plays tennis, wants to know what to do after the performance anxiety hits in the middle of the match. Here's what Linda had to say. If the anxiety shuts off your memory and shuts off your logic, how do you kickstart these functions in your brain quickly when you're in the middle of a match? In playing a fast-paced tennis, how do you override the anxiety quickly? Before the match, there's lots of time to prepare. In the middle of a match, and in a pressure setter, setting, then what? So it's a great question by Linda. What do you do when the anxiety hits in the middle of the match? If you're up or you're in a tiebreaker and you get really tense all of a sudden? You know, my long answer would be, you have to be able to address your fears and your performance anxieties even way before you get on the match. Um, once you get in the match, it's too late to deal with that fear and that performance anxiety. I can give you some quick tips and some things to try, but ultimately overcoming the fear of failure and performance anxiety takes a little bit of time. It's not like I can tell you to, hey, just breathe and everything's gonna be fine. So. What can you do in the middle of the match when the performance anxiety hits? Well, first of all, most anxiety is about outcome. So if you're in a third set tiebreaker, for example, and all of a sudden it hits you, you're like, oh gosh, I could lose this match after battling for two hours here. What you need to do is you need to pull your mind back into the present moment because performance anxiety and tension and fear is often about the outcome and what it would mean if you won the match or if you lost the match. So make sure you rewind that tape and get yourself right back in the present moment. In addition to that, I want you to take your time in between points to try and collect yourself. That means try to focus on only that next point, let go of that last point, process the last point, let it go. You can take a couple of deep breaths Try to relax your shoulders and then only focus on that one point and try to think about what your tactics are and what you're going to do for that next point and then get committed. Once you get back on the return of service line or the service line, get committed to a plan of action. That means not only your tactics for the point and what you're going to do for the point, but also what you're going to do for that first strike whether you're serving or whether it's a return of serve. So use that between point and between the changeovers to try and collect yourself, calm down, pull yourself back into the moment and get a strategy going for that next point. Do not, I repeat, do not step up to the line until you've thought about what you wanna do on your first strike and how you're gonna play that point. That's the key there is don't lose track of your strategy and your tactics and what's working for you in the match. Hey, if you want to find out more information, please visit sportspsychologytennis.com and there you can download a free report um, and sign up for my weekly tips. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. If you want to be notified when we upload more mental training videos just like this one, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on my picture in the upper right hand corner of this video. We've teed up two more mental training videos for you to check out today. Please visit our website if you want to learn more about mental training.